Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plan Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the stacked DIY bin. All right, let's take a look and see what this bin is doing. I did top it up with quite a bit of bedding last time, hoping to keep everything nice and moist. Smell the onions, wherever they may be. Oh, looks like they've finally gotten into that apple. And I think I see a decent worm ball underneath of the apple. Let's see what else they're doing in here. Now, I have been using bubble wrap on everything to try and keep the moisture going. Everything's just been drying out at a crazy rate with the furnace on all the time. I think next week it's finally going to be above freezing, so that will be nice. Um, not that I mind coming in and having a look at my worms, but um, it is kind of, hmm, what did I do? Did I pick that up? Yeah, so, you know, worrying about the worms, as some helicopter worm parents know, you know, you come down here every couple of days or every day, depending, making sure that nothing's going wrong with your worm family. So that apple is finally accomplishing breaking down a little bit of mold there. Worms are underneath of it, but not necessarily in the apple. Apples that have been frozen break down almost instantly, but fresh apple um, takes almost as long as a potato or a root, root vegetable. So I'm going to bury that back under, and then let's see what the next layer down is doing. All right. Well, these guys also, the moisture looks good. Maybe could be a little better. Still seeing some springtails. Not too much though. Nothing that's creeping me out. So yeah, good amount of worms. This apple, which I put in fresh, is finally getting broken down. But other than that, they look like they're starting to make some really nice castings. And they're looking good. All right, let me take off this layer and look underneath. All right, well, right here is very wet. For some people who are not sure if they have a blue worm or a red wiggler, this is an example of a blue worm. Um, he's a very bluey blue worm, so I thought I'd grab him up for everybody to see. Um, generally, when it's nice and warm out, they're very zippy. Um, if it was 80 degrees down here, this thing would have been already out of my hand and curling off halfway to New Jersey. Um, but they tend to be very quick worms, whereas your red wigglers, um, if you laid them flat, I would bet money on the blue worm every time. So they're not, well, they're getting into the carrot a little bit, a little bit. Root vegetables that are not frozen take a very long time to get processed. But everything's looking good down here. Looks like we got more worms down here than we do in the upper levels. Which is why I quit running this bin the way most people run a stacked system. They normally run it with the bottom being a sump. I found that there was way too many worms getting down there, and so I just, you know, kind of took a, if you can't beat them, join them attitude. Uh, especially since I don't really have any control over <laughs> what they do. I might as well go along with them. It's, it's their house, right? So I go ahead and I leave food and bedding down here in the bottom for them. And then, it, you know, they've got the holes in the other layers. They can move up and down if they want to, but I always have a good population of worms in the bottom. 
So I don't think they need food. I think they're good. I'm going to reassemble things here and maybe give the middle group a little bit of something. You can see how easy I'm moving this right now because it's relatively new. When this gets close to being finished, this will be a real struggle and you'll generally see me um, clip in between because there's a lot of <laughs> groaning and possible swearing. And So yeah, these guys could probably use a little handful of something. So this whole system probably weighs 60 pounds when it's almost finished. Right now it probably weighs 20 or 25. All right, I'm going to give these guys some crab apple goo, a little piece of uh, lemon there, a little it's a Kleenex, paper towel. Um, and this should be good enough for them. I'm just going to move it around and incorporate it. This is under the top layer, so nothing's going to get in here and do anything mischievous. And I put the top back up. And the top is, this is a little dry here and there, but I keep turning it and in hopes that the leaves will finally get there. I think the moisture is good. I don't want to add anything and get it to be anaerobic. And I think if I added water to the system right now, it probably would. Alright, well then we will cover them up with their little blankies. And say night night to the DIY stock bin. Alright guys, if you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. If you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. If you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.